Well, September marks the eighth annual World Alzheimer's Month, and tomorrow is World Alzheimer's Day. The month is dedicated to raising awareness and challenging the stigma that surrounds dementia. Almost six million Americans are living with Alzheimer's, and the number of people with the disease is expected to grow to nearly 14 million in the next 30 years. Joining us now to talk more about this is Dory Burgess. Dory is the programming director with the Alzheimer's Association. Dory, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Colleen. Let's first talk about risk factors for Alzheimer's. What are some of them? Absolutely. A lot of times people will see my name badge and it says Alzheimer's Association and their first concern is, what is my risk? Mm -hmm. Well, ultimately, if you have a brain, you are at risk. Mm -hmm. But things that increase your risk are some things out of our control, like age, genetics. Those things are out of our control. Even our gender can put us at higher risk. Mm. As women, we are at higher risk. Mm. So ultimately, we want to help people and encourage people to do things to change their lifestyle factors that may put them at risk because those are things that are in our control. Okay, so what are some of those things? Things like eating a heart healthy and brain healthy diet, exercise, cardiovascular activity, no smoking and limited drinking. We want to encourage people, particularly with a lot of the news stories that are coming out uh, with cigarettes and vaping, that mm -hmm. those things put your brain at risk as well. Yeah, so some of that stuff, like you said, is under our control, our lifestyle, our habits. Where can people get more information? Um, I know this is such a devastating disease, certainly for people who have family members who are struggling with Alzheimer's. Uh, where can they get more information for resources and, and for help for families? Well, that is what we do at the Alzheimer's Association. We are driving towards research, care, and support. So you can visit our website at alz.org, and there you can get things about the 10 warning signs of Alzheimer's, care and support located in your area, find support groups, respite care programs, but also you can register for our walks that are coming up in the fall. We have one in Rock Hill, October and one in Charlotte in November. Can you give us a few of the warning signs, things that people should be on the lookout for? Absolutely. One of the things that we tell people first is if you notice that your family is repeating things, repeating the same stories, sometimes even losing the ability to do familiar tasks, something as simple as brushing your teeth. Also, we notice that people have confusion with time and place that happens more frequently uh, as the disease progresses. Then you may notice that people are also misplacing things and losing the ability to retrace their steps. And then they might have a little paranoia, suspicion, and accusations that accompany that. Mm -hmm. uh, because if I didn't move it, then someone else did. Mm -hmm. And ultimately you may notice that people are having mood and personality changes. They may substitute words for various words that don't mean the same thing. Uh, but ultimately you can find all of that information on our website. Yeah, check out the website for more. Dory Burgess, thank you so much for your time. Delighted. Thank, thank you. you. All right, Bill.